Today we got a four piston engine. This is a E30, real E30 M3, super clean, high revving, 9,500 RPM Honda engine. And we're gonna go ahead and tune her today on the mainline dyno. Got this thing almost on the dyno. A real M3 and a fake M3. Oh, it's got different taillights. Both K series, but we have two turbos. This thing does not have a turbo, but it's super clean. It's got a four piston, fully built motor, 12.5 compression, the whole four piston spec. So let's see what this thing makes, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm I don't make more power, I'm just not revving all the way out. Okay. Just because I want to make sure the fueling everything's perfect. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm only going up to like seven. Twenty-three. Yeah. I only rev it up to eight thousand. So at nine thousand, you probably would have hit like two thirty-five or so. It was very rich. It was like ten eight AFR, and you had about right now. I have twenty-two degrees of timing. You had about nineteen. So it's about right. Right now, when I gave it two degrees of timing, it gained about fifteen horsepower. Okay. So it wants the timing. The problem is your knock window is like that. So you give it timing, timing, timing. Gets to a point where like you cannot get to that window because you can't give enough timing. Cause like right now I'm trying to figure out what air fuel ratio this motor like. So I tried, I tried really rich, it didn't like it. Then I went a little leaner, and it liked it. I went a little leaner, and it liked it. Went a little leaner, and it liked it. Then I went a little bit more leaner, which normally these motors on the 85 will run like 12.5 to 13.0. Yeah. This thing wants to run like 11.6, like Got a it. turbo car. And then right now it's running about 28 to 30 degree cam angle up top. Okay. So depending on a uh, I think that's all the four piston. They tell you not to go past like 32, 30, okay. 34. Yeah, you know they have that 60 VTC, whatever that's it's in It's a 50 VTC, yeah. whatever, but they usually lock them out past 32 up top. Okay. Because the more you advance the cam, the closer you get to that piston. Oh, right. Would the spark plugs make a difference or no? Not really, but I was thinking let's take a spark plug out. Take a look. And let's put one, a brand new one, do a pull. Yeah. And then we can see how it's burning. In a okay. You can see if there's any, like any, uh, signs of detonation or anything like that on the spark plug. Okay. But on K-Pro, it has a, uh, a secondary switch, so you can put a switch for like race gas if you wanted to. Yeah. My thought is run race gas in it just for safety. Right. Right, like know that on the street, I'm not gonna rev it out to nine grand and just go, okay, I'm gonna rev it to 75 or 8,000 and you know, know that for me to go higher, I gotta run race gas at the track. Yeah, like this thing doesn't care too much about AFR, air fuel ratio. Yeah. Cause like right there I ran it uh, where I liked to uh, run and then I added 5% fuel, did a pool, lost. Took away 5% fuel, did a pool, lost. So he tells you right there the motor wants to be at that AFR. Got so it. there's a 5% threshold. So what AFR does it like to be at 11 and a half? Uh, on this one it was about 11.7, yeah. Yeah, got it. And that's probably because of the compression. Okay. Because typically on pump gas, they usually uh, like to run about 12.4 to 12.8. Which is leaner. Higher the number, the leaner the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But because the compression is so high, the burn, it gets hot. So if you, yeah. um, it doesn't like to run lean because the burn is already hot from the lack of uh, octane. 
Then when you go richer, it provides more cooling, it's less prone to detonation, okay. so it gains more power. Well, yeah, the thing it, is, like, I like to explain and talk to you guys, because yeah. the more you know right now, the more you understand, yeah. the less likely you're going to leave me alone. Because you already, the less likely you're going to leave me alone as far as, like, you don't have to question, oh, like, what spark plugs are running? What do I gap on? Right. Like, before, I used to tune for a shop, and then um, the guys would just be like, all right, go sit in the office, and then, okay, car's ready. Customer, like, down the road would put spark plugs or something, and then it's like, they would call me like, hey man, my car started breaking up. And I'm like, where'd you change? They're like, nothing. I'm like, well, something had to change. They're like, uh, let me call you back. And they calls me back. It's like, the only thing we changed was spark plugs. I'm like, did you guys gap them? And they're like, uh. <laughs> yeah, and then lowering the gap helps with higher compression. Because the, okay. so the, spark, the spark has to travel back and forth. Yeah. And when you put higher compression, there's uh, more cylinder pressure. So it's going to extinguish that flame. Got it. So closing the gap, the spark travels faster and it'll take... It's like a boosted car. Got it. Similar concept. Because like on a stock K20, you don't need to gap the plug. You just throw whatever plug oh, in really? there and be good to go. Yeah. But when you when you give it more compression, then it's making more power, more compression, then you got to gap the plugs down. So what I'm hearing you say is this car is going to perform much better on the 85. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like way better. Okay. Well, let's pull out a spark plug and look okay. at it and see if it's... These are sevens. Cool. Is that right or wrong? Uh, it's fine. You can go up probably to an eight pl uh, spark plug. So it's all yeah. running all the way up to yep. the third one. That means it's kind of a hot plug. Okay. So they're like the tire compression pistons or not? Uh, well, no. Okay. Uh, well, yes and no. So, like, if you were running a traditional long spark plug... Yep. Which I think that's what we had in there before and it tapped. Right. Oh. Then it tapped. Yeah. This one's not tapping, so therefore, um, this one is perfect. Okay. Uh, it'll create a little bit more compression. Okay. Don't need to run this one. Okay. This is like if you were running like 14, 15 compression, you'd probably have to go down to this one. Got it, because you want the space. Right. Got it, okay. But in this case, you could just run this one. So does it make sense to swap the plugs out, just gap them? Uh, swap these cooler? usually come pre-gap. Right. This should be around. It looks to be around like 29, 28 around there. Jeez. On the money. 29. Perfect. Jeez. It comes yep. pretty gap. So you think we should swap them out to a colder plug? We can swap it out. Let's see what it makes. Uh, so it made on the last pool, what it made. So let's go ahead and swap out the spark plugs and uh, okay. we'll do another pool. So we're gonna swap out these spark plugs. I just want to test it, see why it's uh, it's actually acting up like a rev limiter, and it's misfiring part throttle. But when you rev it, it's fine. Unless um, Honda is very sensitive to the voltage characteristics of the spark plugs. So depending on if it's a resistor style or non-resistor style, it'll misfire like that. Yes, it's supposed to be moving, but it's a zero. So on the last dyno run, would it have quit on the last dyno run? I think so. So me swapping out the spark plugs, I just didn't pay attention. I didn't pay attention to the TPS earlier, but let me look at the last log. The K-series stuff is very sensitive. K-Pro is very sensitive to TPS, so it'll give you all kinds of issues with... Uh, I've had issues where like 
people run these China or K Tune TPSs, yeah. and the car has all kinds of drivability issues, even though um, the TPS works. But it just it's very bottom, slow. It'll, just, it'll fall down there. Normally, if there's a like on the bottom, you know, when you pull it out. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's not on there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's it's definitely on there. Do what? This? Spinning. Not picking it up? No, nothing. Well, that's all good. Does that have resistance? Does it know how it's supposed to snap back? Oh, yeah. You want to run the autos on it? See if they have one at autos on it. Well, probably it's going to be a factory Honda one, and that Acuity one's not going to work. It's an adapter. This is different because I had to swap that in to run the Acuity one. Uh, so even like a regular Honda one won't work? No, it's different. Cool. So, oh, uh, so we got to do that. <laughs> we got the E30 done, the TPS towards the end started not playing, and it went out. But for the most part, we got the whole tune done. We just need to clean up a couple things, but... Uh, she's on 91, made 252 to the wheels, and then yeah, 175 wheel torque. Keep in mind this motor is very high compression, so we wanted to keep timing very safe. Obviously, it's going to make a lot more, so this thing on race gas or E85 is going to make at least another 30 to 40 horsepower more. But for now, she's done. He can drive it around. He just needs to put a TPS on there and sync it. I'll probably end up going over there syncing the TPS for him. That way, he can enjoy this thing, and then we'll do another round of... Uh, race gas tuning, fun car. So with that, we are out.